Hey guys, let me show you how you can add new fonts to your Affinity Publisher. Actually, Publisher, like any other app, will tap into your system fonts. So if you are a Windows user, Mac user, or iPad user, the process will be a bit different. In my case, I'm right now on desktop version on Mac. So when I see a nice font online, like let's say this one, Welcome Magic, I'm going to download the fonts files first. In my case, from the website called daftfont.com, so I click download button. All right, I got it on my hard drive now. After you open up the zip, you will see your font files, and you can simply open it up by double clicking, and you will have option to install. If you are on Windows, you can do it in a very similar manner. Just right click on the font, and you will see install option. So after you install your font, as you can see, I got one font added. I got now 450. Now I can open up my publisher. And next time I try to use any text tool in publisher, I will have option to change the font, right? So at the top left, I see the font name. It's a bit helpful if you remember the new font you just installed because you can tap the first letter from that font name. In my case, W. And I can see oh, it's on the list. Welcome, Magic. And the new feature recently added the little heart shape next to the font. If you click on that, you can add this font to your favorites, and then you will see it on way shorter list. So I don't need to see all of my 450 fonts. I can go to recent, use in this document of favorites. And here it is at the very bottom. I got this new font. I can change the size of it. And that's how you can quickly add a new font to your system. And that font will be used by Affinity Publisher. I hope this short tutorial was helpful. See you in the next one.